Hello everyone, welcome back to Perf Tutorials. Today we're gonna uh, see five plugins that makes Discord just better. You can customize it and you can make, um, you can of course download more plugins, so I'll show you how. And But with these five plugins, your Discord will be more customizable and just genuinely better. So to begin with, as you might notice, we don't have a plugin setting. And the way we get um, plugins into Discord is we have to use another program. The program is called uh, Better Discord. Um, Better Discord, you just need to download here. The link is in the description to the website. Uh, when you press here, it should be downloading. And Better Discord will be for Windows. I'm not sure if it works on uh, Apple since I don't have an Apple device to check, but it works well on the Windows. Then all you gotta do is launch it. It's launching now. Uh, accept and next. Um, install. And this is for when you have just like the general Discord. And uh, these should not, you should not need to have these unless you have the Discord Canary or the Discord PTB. But if you have the just normal Discord, you just press that and install. Should relaunch your Discord with the better Discord uh, installed. There. And there it's uh, done. As you can see, on the bottom here we have been added a bunch of things, like uh, all the settings for better Discord. So what you'll do, you go to plugins. As you can see, there are no plugins here, and uh, the only way to install plugins is to go back to the better Discord website, where you installed it, uh, and go to plugins. And here you can see a bunch of uh, neat little plugins. I'll t tell you my top five. But with all these, you can uh, improve your Discord. Let's uh, just take one that we can easily check if it's true or not. So we can see if the plugins are working. Server details should be fine. So we download that. And then we go to the downloads folder and we copy it. Then we go to our Discord, open plugins folder, and it should pop up like that. And uh, we paste in the file like that. Nice. And after you install it, this should pop up or something similar. It should say the library plugin needed for server details is missing. Um, not all plugins need a library plugin, but uh, most of them do. So just uh, click download now. Should say here that it has downloaded libraries. I click down. And as you can see here, you have uh, a library for the plugin. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's required library for the De Devil Bros plugins, and most likely, all Devil Bros uh, plugins won't ask you to reinstall it, so you will just be installed. So, if you activate the library and then you activate the server detail by pressing these two, um, what should happen? is that if we go over here then we can hover over and we have the server details of our language roles channels boosts members and server owner so yeah those that's a very neat plugin but it's not my favorite and i'll show you all my favorite now so the first one is better animations i just installed it here and uh, what you can do with better animations is that you can customize and improve um, animations 
small animations to big animations. If we click, click, oh, if we click settings, then you can see here all the animations it changes. And uh, the most notable animation will be um, channel animations since it plays every time you changes the channel. Here you see a bunch of options that you can choose from and it plays um, the animation as you customize. So if you make this very long now, you can see it will be very slow. But if you make it very short, it will go fast again. So one second is typical because it's like slow enough where you notice that it's an animation, but it's fast enough where you don't like need to wait for the animation to be over. Um, we can just take an example. Uh, kind of like to slide down, not gonna lie. And we have a different type of uh, easing. What easing is, if you have linear, it will um, have the same speed throughout the animation. If you have ease in, it means that it'll kind of go fast and then slowly fit into. Ease out is the opposite animation. Yeah, and there's a bunch of uh, different type of easing. As you can see there, that's a different type as it kind of accelerates. Yeah, but uh, I like uh, ease in cubic, which was the default since it's, yeah, I like it. And we, that's the most noticeable since you, it's every time you switch channel. So it's a big animation. But there's settings animations, uh, like sli slip up. We can make that one a little slower so you can see the difference. There's also uh, message animations, which is fun. Um, yeah. So if you just press done, it should work. So if you see here, since I make it a second, it should uh, move slow like that uh, and that's my first animation is uh, um, animation is my first uh, recommended plugin because it just makes everything so much smoother look at that and if you don't like the speed you can of course change it and if you don't like it animation you can also change it in the app so don't be scared it's Fun anime. It's a fun plugin. The second plugin is uh, Image Utilities, and as you might notice, if you have an uh, image, your options is to copy image, save image, copy link, or open link, or open original, which only opens a browser with the link in, with the picture inside. But if you want to have more options with it, then you should uh, it definitely check out this plugin, which is called um, Image Utilities. Here we have Image Utilities. As I said, this is from Devil Bro and uses the same uh, library. Just so you know, as um, it won't always ask for a new library. So all you gotta do is uh, activate it. And now we can go out here again. And if you uh, if you check uh, your, uh, we can do it here too. If you see the options, it has uh, added two new options. We can save image as and download it. And now we can search the image in um, popular uh, web engines. So what this means is that you can search the image, image online to see if this image is either um, made by this person or is just a copy from the internet. Um, as I expected, it said uh, no other sizes of this image found 
which basically means that this image might look like other images but there are no like images online that are exactly the same and uh, that means that this is an original image or at least not an image stolen from Google and it also has this little neat little download button right under and some um, like uh, information about the image so it's very neat if you have uh, uh, if you use discord to send images to your friends and you want to download those images easily the next plugin we're going to check out is called spellcheck it's also by devil bro and it literally just checks if you've spelled correctly in your messages before I found this plugin, I could not tell you how many times I went to check online if uh, a complicated word I wrote was correct, because it sounded dumb if I spelled it wrong. So with this, it will have the English dictionary, and if, with the um, settings, you can change it to other languages actually, and I have quite a few. Um, not all, as you can see, since it's made by a uh, community and not, um, not a big uh, software firm to get all these languages so oh uh, yeah so that um, yeah so um, there are a lot of uh, languages but not all of them as you might have seen and what spell check can do if you write like a random message like hey my uh, let's say name is uh, Perry my name is Perry as, as it comes up in my name but it's fine if we see here it will come with options uh, these options are as you can see, not um, the best. They won't, uh, their name. These top here are not the, like the most probable, but as you can see here, there's a lot better options down here. If you go to spell check, of course it only doesn't work with the name. It works with uh, big complicated words too. It has a dictionary as I said, the English dictionary so if you have long complicated words and you want to correct them fast and not check it online as you had to do before then you can just go to spell check and by way to activate spell check you have to uh, here's a bunch of options yeah, nice. uh, you have to cross off here spell check The next plugin we're gonna check out is Urban Dictionary by A Green Pig. And we can just uh, activate it. And uh, let's check settings. Uh, yeah. So Urban Dictionary, as you, many of you might know, is a, a dictionary website that explains words sometimes in a very weird way or in a funny way but it also usually uh, gives you a general definition of the word. So sometimes it's wrong, but sometimes it's uh, right. So let's uh, have a, a word I don't know uh, what what means, right? And all you gotta do, like JK, I have no idea what JK means. All I gotta do is uh, uh, select the word and right click an urban dictionary comes up here JK in urban dictionary comes up and here are the definitions like some of these are very like uh, normal like just kidding which is what it stands for so it's completely correct but they say like an example you're ugly as a troll in the morning JK and y'all just JK and yeah So yeah, these are uh, often very funny and 
uh, sometimes very silly and sometimes it has very weird explanations or definitions but usually you find out what it really means and as you can see uh, when we took JK it uh, definitely gave us the right uh, answer so all you gotta do is select it urban dictionary and yeah thank you and for the final plugin which is my favorite plugin and the plugin I should have shown you from the start but I wanted to save it to the end will be the one and only plugin repo as I'll just uh, add it right now as you can see and plugin repo is very helpful if you're gonna test out a lot of plugins uh, we just did five today and shouldn't be that like uh, hard to do but let's say you want to test out like 50 plugins then uh, plugin repo is gonna be very helpful the reason plugin repo is gonna be very helpful is because everything is gonna be in your discord so if you um, open here you will see all your plugins is in discord and you all you need to do is uh, let's say let's just take a random one sticker emoji preview why not just press download and it's installed and if you go to plugins if you scroll down there sticker emoji preview installed and we didn't do any file changes no copy and pasting and that is gonna be the end of my tutorial we have checked out five plugins and how they work and all you gotta do is press the link in my description which should send you to a better dis discord install it it will uninstall your normal discord but it will work like normal and um, reinstall it with better discord inside implemented sorry and with that you can install these plugins remember to check them off else it won't work and that's gonna be the end of the video guys um, I hope you learned something today as always and I'll see you in the next one see ya